Hey, how's it for everybody? Um, this is James, and I would like you to subscribe, like, and follow. Also, shout out to my homie Joel from with uh, Leo Court Gaming, representing his shirt today since he can't be with us. Uh, he's not feeling too good. All that uh, traveling back east didn't uh, maybe it, it got to him. But anyways, uh, you guys send your well wishes to them, him and Ro. They're just feeling under the weather, so we wish them back um, as soon as possible. All right, how's it, everyone? I got a special guest. Had him before. Uh, it's my little brother, Manu, all the way from D.C. All right, Manu, say what's up to everybody. What's going on? What's going on? Get my liquid death out here. <laughs> you know, uh, link in bio if you'd like to uh, have a special discount. Yeah, right. I'm not sponsored by anybody. <laughs> so the thing we're going to talk about today it's people have been talking about it a long time maybe they've talked about it to death is uh issues between tim anderson chicago white Sox shortstop and uh, infielder all star shortstop. Shortstop. sorry yeah. about that <clears throat> the uh <laughs> and uh yankees third baseman infielder josh donaldson for those of you that don't know, and you don't know what's going on, some remarks were made, and uh, Josh Donaldson, they kind of had a little history. He made a tag uh, when Josh was playing third base. Tim Anderson in Chicago. This was in Chicago, right? Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that was in Chicago. It happened, uh, and then the rest it of it was, kind of... It happened on, on both occasions, right? When they were playing in... I mean, I don't think the Jackie comment happened, but... Uh, there were some words exchanged and whatnot, both in Chicago and New York. Right, right. That's true. Um, like we don't know exactly what was said and whatnot. Um, we're just going by. We're just going by what the players were talking about. So and what they said and went on record of saying. I really don't think that Josh Donaldson meant anything by it, but I don't know the man. I don't, so I can't. I can't speak on that, but I can just say. Um, just it seemed a little overblown to me um, you know I'm I'm there's there's no secret I'm Polynesian if someone referred to me as the rock it wouldn't be uh, what you talk why, why are you talking bad about South Pacific Islanders like I, I would that would be a compliment in any right so even just calling him Jackie I don't I don't see uh, people are pulling in race with it but I don't see how that was a racist comment or a racist connotation what do you think? Yeah, it's a toughy. Um, it's a tough one. I mean, Aaron Judge even said too. You know, it's it's a it's a tough thing. But you know, looking at it, what the what the both players have said, um, I feel that Tim Anderson has made more comments around, around the issue than than Josh Donaldson. But uh, according according to Anderson, even when Donaldson was with the Twins, they never said anything to each other. And so um, it seemed like the comment Jackie, uh, even though it might have started in 2019, uh, Donaldson hasn't said anything to Anderson since then. Since then, <laughs> until he applied the rough tag, um, whereas Anderson was leading had an extensive lead on third base. Right. So when you look at it in that context, <sighs> if we're if we're good friends, we're homies tonight. Right. You know, I call you. I, 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 call, I call you Rocky, you know, or like Dwayne Johnson or something, or, or you know, The Rock. And I, I call you that, and that's because we have a consistent basis talking to each other. Right. There's you a know? rapport there. It's not just out of, out of there. nowhere. Yeah. But now if I say the last thing I said to you was called you Jackie in 2019, and then I don't see you again, and I call you Jackie again, I, that would rub me the wrong way, too. Yeah. It's, it's like, I don't. We don't. We're not friends, <laughs> you know. Like, yeah, we, we, you can't. There are certain things that other people can say and joke about because your friends, your boys, your homies, exactly. your, your your brothers. It doesn't. But that right. That is a. It's different. You haven't said anything, and then all out of nowhere. Um, so a uh, backstory. I, I didn't mention it. Um, Tim Anderson referred to himself as the new Jackie Robinson, so to speak, because he feels that Jackie Robinson changed the game, and he himself. Is, is is should change the game and he's responsible for changing the game or he feels like he's responsible a little bit because uh there was a, a an a interview 
where he said, I'm not sure what year, but it was an interview where he said that he quoted that baseball has been boring. So that's why he did that elaborate bat flip. There's a couple of bat flips. And, and honestly, that, I mean, I, I knew him being in the American League. I've seen him. But it wasn't until he did those uh, crazy bat flips that I I really paid more attention. So, I mean, but I, I disagree with the game being boring prior to him showing up. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. I don't I think if, uh, if, if you're a fan of baseball, there's something exciting happening every day. It might not be with your team, you mm-hmm. know, but around the league, there's something exciting going on. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, you get pitchers throwing, throwing at guys, you know, you, you get some wild, crazy, what was it, Pittsburgh, I can't remember who it was, just, just last week, uh, one of the Pittsburgh players just had an inside the park home run. How often do you see that? Yeah, right. You know, yeah, it's... like, that's, that's really cool. So for him to say that it's boring, you know, that's uh, uh, okay. But in context of, of his comment, though, right, is he he was it was the article itself when he mentioned that it was back in 2019. Right, that was the article. Uh, yeah, I was, was when I was saying how he said it was boring. I was I don't remember what year that was, but yeah. But go on with the the 2019 article. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I mean, it was just more in context of of being one of the very few black African-American players right that, that you know that that uh, there's not a lot of GMs in major league that are black African-Americans there's not a single owner of a baseball team that's a black African-American and so in addition to that he mentioned that he feels like he needs to change the game and he feels like Jackie Robinson because there are a lot of black athletes out there but right. he's one if not the only one in it as a as a current roster player, that is the black African American, right? Which we all know that's not there's Andrew McCutcheon, right? There's Justin Upton, there's plenty out there, but uh, for some reason he feels that he's elevated above these guys, right? And <laughs> referring well, to himself as Jackie Robinson. And not only plenty out there, but there's plenty that have been there prior to him coming on to the major league scene. Yeah. So yeah. So and he I said mean, that too. He's like, I know it's a big statement, but it's cool. It's whatever. But I. It, it, uh, to me, Tim Anderson is, is like the Usain Bolt of Major League Baseball. There's there's very little that you can say about him that he himself has not already said. Yeah, that's you true. Know? That's like, true. So it's, uh, it's kind of like, okay, <clears throat> I mean, that's – it's like Manny Ramirez, you know. He's, oh. It's just Manny being Manny. It's just Tim being Tim, right? Yeah, you know? I think I, – I mean, I, I get, you know, you, you feel a certain way, but when you start comparing yourself to um, one of the greats, not only for – um, people uh, of color, but uh, you know, a lot of the times we uh, kind of well, there is a lot of black people in the game of baseball. Um, but what you know, they put out a statistic. I don't know how true it is, but the official statistic was the seven point two percent of baseball players as of May tenth or May fifteenth are are black. Um, so that is a short. Now that is small, and people may kind of turn their head and be like, "What are you talking about?" There's, there's tons of, uh, there's tons of, of black people, whether it be African descent or American descent uh, or both, um, African American, African, you know, uh, that, that uh, they think that there may be more, but you know, some people forget that you know, people from the DR, the Dominican Republic, they have a darker skin tone. There are. Uh, there's even, there, I mean, to me, what what bothers me is where when people think that when uh, someone's race is denoted by the outside, the color of their skin, uh, I have a, I have a, an issue with that because that doesn't their ethnicity doesn't doesn't necessarily relate to to their culture. So some somebody could be considered black and um, born in America, so they're black. They're not African American. They're black. But they're fairer skin than than Jackie Robinson or Michael Jordan. Mm-hmm. So that that to me that that, that doesn't uh, like if you hear somebody. Oh, I didn't know that they were Mexican because they're fair skinned Or oh, I didn't know that they were Polynesian because 
they don't have tattoos or they don't walk around with slippers and a lava lava like that that's the, well, well, they're not six five. They're not six five. Right? Know, right? It, it doesn't. That, that's where I have an issue with people say something about someone and and they're like, oh, well, they didn't look that way. What, what, what are you talking? About? What does that mean? What does that mean? They don't look a certain way. Like I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, we are Mexican, Apache, and Samoan. Some some people look at me and they're like, oh, you're Mexican. And then there's others who's like, I knew you were Mexican. So <laughs> yeah. I mean, it doesn't. That, that's where I have an issue, and um, I don't really quote Stephen A. Smith, but he did say something uh, previously where he was saying how uh, he said what upsets him the most is they're having a conversation about race, and he can't sit there and tell you anything that Josh Donaldson said was racist. He, think, he thinks it's actually wrong for people to attach racist or racism to Josh Donaldson today. And I agree with him 100% yeah, yeah. because you don't know the man's character, you know, uh you you uh, you you might watch a lot of baseball, but you don't know what goes on behind closed doors. You don't know what goes on in the clubhouse. You don't know what he tells his yeah. close friends or family. Yeah. So yeah. all we see is what we see on the field and maybe yeah. in the locker yeah. room when he's giving interviews. Now I agree yeah. with your point if the first time he said it was in 2019 when when he when that you know uh article came out and that was the first time that donaldson mentioned that and then three years later here we are and he decides to say it again i can understand how tim anderson would be like whoa we're not cool with each other for you to just tease me like that yeah but because at this at the same time if you're going to call yourself jackie robinson you're going to be getting people comparing your your skill to play yeah and yeah. and to be uh you know a, a statement like that is like is like you know saying it on, on social media it ain't ever gonna go away you know what i'm saying that's a bold statement to make that is extremely bold yeah. and you know i don't think and it could have been you know sometimes when you when people are speaking about themselves they're in an interview or people just want to get to know them you know you you tend to kind of vomit information out about yourself because you know he he's he's been in the league for a while what five six years seven years mm -hmm. and if anybody who doesn't know who he is all of the information that you need to know about him as a baseball player is out there uh, you you don't need you don't need much else uh, yeah. uh, if you're if you're wanting to interview him as a baseball player. But if you want to interview yeah. Tim Anderson and the man, then you're gonna have to have ask questions. You're gonna get to know him a little more. But we're not talking about Tim Anderson the man. We're not talking about Josh Donaldson the man. We're talking about two baseball players that were trying it. What we uh, what appears to and what they're saying is that they're joking with each other. Yeah. So yeah. I, I get exactly. that. I understand yeah. that, but in the in the same breath, if 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 that is in fact what happened and what's what's in uh, their heart, then it, it was kind of ill timed for Josh to to refer back to that article three years ago because they're not yeah. what Tim Anders is saying. They're not friends. Then then you know, like if if Josh Donaldson's mother called him Joshy and and. Uh, only close friends knew that and somebody in the league called him Josh and he's like hey man we're like we're not cool enough for you to call me that so yeah, I yeah. understand where Tim Anderson's coming from but yeah, I, and I don't think like, <laughs> none, I never heard any of the players say anything uh, at least as you know publicly and the thing came out with it but I never heard them, any of them say anything that it was a racist comment the one to make that statement was La Russa right and bro he was the one and he, I mean He's been in baseball forever. He's highly respected, right? Right. And so I think when he put that out there, yeah, he felt and I, baseball and felt I obligated to do something true. because La Russa is saying something about it. You know what I'm saying? And I don't fault Tony for doing that. I don't because at the end of the day, he's there to protect his players, and I appreciate that yeah. as a baseball yeah. fan. So if he thinks that if his if he thinks if his players coming to him and his player thinks that that is how he's receiving it, then I a hundred percent. And with Tony La Russa. now it may yeah. not be the right thing, but it's kind of like you know, um, like his his job 
is to protect his players. So if his player is feeling that way, he's going to get behind him. And then behind closed doors, he's like, hey, man, look at what you're making me do because I don't think it was this way. I don't think it was that way, but I'm going to show my support for you. So yeah. um, you've got to come – You've got to meet me somewhere. So, you know, like when, 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 the, when the managers argue balls and strikes, if they feel that their player is not getting a good shake, they're going to stand up for them. At least you want them to. If, if yeah. I mean, every fan wants their, to know their manager has their backing. But what I didn't like about Tim Anderson is when Grandal approaches, which that was not the right time for Grandal to say anything. <laughs> like, come on, man. Say, you know, if you if you want to say something to him, I get it, because you're a catcher and you're you're gonna say you, you. I mean, that's your boy, you know. I mean, I I understand that. That's your teammate. That's your friend. You guys have been in, in there a while. I get that. I understand that. But professionalism, you know, you could have said that at the end of the inning or. When you're up to bat and you're you are either out or you get to over to his base, then go, hey man, that wasn't cool what you said to my homie like that. You know, I don't, yeah. I don't appreciate or, that. Or like, you don't even get in his head while he's batting. <laughs> yeah. Like, make that trash talk while he's batting. Get in his head. You yeah, know, don't like, don't stand up like, to him and say it. Like, just you're in the crouch, you're getting ready for the pitches. Yeah, absolutely. That's when you say, hey, hey, should we start calling you Babe Ruth because you hit hard? You know, like I mean, I don't know. It's yeah, just, something, right? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, and I, so when that happened with him and Grumdahl, and they were, you know, nose to nose, I didn't like that Tim Anderson thought that it, if you look at the tape, he comes from grass in the shortstop position, and he goes almost like he's going to the dugout and in the foul, in the foul line. He's, he's in between the foul line and the dirt uh, or the base path, and he looks yeah. like he's going to come behind Josh Donaldson. Like, dude, you can't do that. Like if you're if you're the man that you say you are, meet him face to face. Come to him yeah. at his face, not at his back. Yeah. Like I I did not appreciate that as a as a baseball fan. Like forget that it's with the Yankees. Like it didn't matter if you you came at a, a one of Rafael Devers um, from behind. Like that's cowardly. You can't do that. That I don't yeah. care who you are or who what you think that you are. That is that's a coward. I, mean, I, I will say that to my grave. That's that's cowardly. If you you got something you want to go in front, go in front of him and, and be like, I'm right here, dude. Come, you you still got stuff to say? You want to talk to me? I'm right here. But yeah, I didn't I didn't yeah. like that he went behind him. That you know that was that was foul. I didn't like that. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't think it was Randall's place. You know, I mean, I, I don't know what was said. I mean, you can only right so much right. From, we can only speculate. My broadcast. But... Yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, I mean, there's a few things, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, it just, it, it was kind of like, it's it's over and done with. Right. You know? Like, why, why are we bringing this up again? Let's just, let's just play ball. Just play ball, man. Yeah. 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 And so, I agree. Yeah, it just came a little out of touch, but I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I guess, I guess it's the hood in him that he got, he got to feel like he has to say something. Yeah. Oh, that's. And that, Those them city jerseys got to them, so uh, you know <laughs> they had to represent. They're like, you know, we got to cross our chest. You know, we got to do something here, man. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, all Illinois don't like you guys anyway. So no. uh... what? Whatever. Whenever someone says something like that, like uh, you know, how to represent, and like maybe they change their speech pattern. Which I'll, I I change my speech pattern depending on whom I'm speaking to. Like I have friends yeah. where I talk different. I speak differently, and I have. Um, you know, people I associate associate with weekly that I speak differently. Uh, it's just, I mean, it's, I'm not, I don't change in the in the aspect in the, in the respect of, I just, I know how to speak to different people that I associate with, and, and it's just a different different speech pattern that I have. But uh, yeah, the point, that, I hear that, man. but when I hear <laughs> when I hear people, you know, they're they're still heated because he was still heated and he was talking about how, you know, like I took offense to it and that's not cool. And he, he started uh, using uh, different uh, vernaculars and I, I just thought of Will Smith and Fresh Prince where he's like, stop, ghetto time. Because like, <laughs> you, you know he's just messing around, but it, uh, well, well, at least we thought he was messing around until he smacked Chris Rock. But anyways, that's not, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Well, that's another topic in baseball, then, right? 
Tommy, Tommy Pham. Oh, slap to Jock Jock Peterson. Peterson. <laughs> man, I saw one too where he, he was talking about it. There was a GIF, and there's uh, three people doing um, uh, workouts, and they're throwing oh, up a, yeah, yeah, a yeah. medicine ball. He's like, "This is the GIF or meme that that uh, Jock got smacked over." And I was like, "Oh my gosh!" You know, the internet goes crazy. Uh, but anyways, oh, yeah. uh, another thing. Do you have anything else you want to add to the Tim Anderson and Josh Donaldson that? Hopefully we're done talking about just getting to baseball. Yeah, no, no, I think I think we said uh, said enough on it. All right. So moving on to my next topic is the umpires, the way they are calling balls and strikes, and the whole thing with the gloves um, and you know substances that they're finding. What do you uh, what do you think on all that stuff? Yeah, I think. I think it's going a little crazy. I think I think all the umpires have taken a, a couple chapters out of the Angel Hernandez book. <laughs> you know, so... you know what I'm saying? Like, like it's not it's not um, out of the ordinary for Angel Hernandez to be outrageous like this. But uh, yeah, every umpire, come on now. <laughs> so so Joel but, uh... sent me so Joel sent me a video of where. Um, they threw out Mad Bum, Madison Bumgarner, pitcher for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Yeah, I've seen that one. So for those of you that don't know, the new collective bargaining agreement, if there are substances, just pine tar, it was like the, the tack, there's a bunch of stuff, that, and it's to help the pitchers grip the ball um, and throw different pitches. So, and there's a lot of pitchers that say it doesn't help. It's just a whole, it, it's all mental. mental. They, they think it's helping them and it's helping them, but... It, they know that it really doesn't. It's just part of, you know, baseball players, athletes are creatures of habit, and it was a habit. So anyway, they are not. The umpires will now check the glove because they've been putting it in their glove, putting it on the underneath their hat, and the umpire was supposed to check Mad Bum's um, glove, and he's not even checking it. He's just rubbing the glove and staring at Bumgarner, and then eventually Bumgarner. Meets him. I, I. I mean, if someone's. I mean, as, as a man, if someone's just gonna stare you down like that, you're gonna look in his eyes. He didn't even say anything to him. He looked in his yeah. eyes, and then the the umpire threw him out. Like, are you are you serious? That's that's what we're doing now. That's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you looked at the standings. No offense, to Diamondback fans, but they need all the help they can get right now. So throwing him out, their ace. Like, come on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I, I saw that. They did that the same thing to a few different other, uh, a few other pitchers, you know. Uh, they're just they're just staring right at them, and I don't know what they think they're they're hired to umpire referee baseball games. The way and they, they they looking at them like they freaking CIA agent trying to detect if they're lying to them, you know, somehow. Some of them their shifty eyes or something, you know. <laughs> like, some of them are. What are you doing? Some you of them are. took the online course to detect how to. <laughs> how to see a liar how to spot a liar like I don't I don't get oh, it goodness. you certified in that now like I don't <laughs> what is this <laughs> some of them look at the other at the players as if they looked at their wife or girlfriend I mean I know right they're not even if they're not even doing their job what they're supposed to do at that moment is check to see if they have foreign substances on their person yeah, and or their equipment, they they're looking at him like, a dude, I saw you. You know my wife is back behind here. You know my girlfriend's in the stands. I saw you yeah. checking her out, dude. You know my wallet can't compete. What are you doing to me like that? Uh, oh my gosh, that oh that's just that's crazy. And then the glove, I don't the glove of different colors. Sean Manaya when he was with the A's, they didn't want his his glove to be a certain yeah. green. And then he got traded to the Padres, and he still didn't have enough time to get a different glove, so he had that green one still. <laughs> yeah, they, and they didn't I mean, say like anything. How many, how many games there in this season? Like, and the one time. 60, what, 80 like, games? 60-something? You know, I mean, how, many, I mean how many games do you be pitching for, you know what I'm saying? Like, and the one time they're like, sorry, that glove is not going to fly. I don't know like, what, okay. as a hitter, it doesn't matter if I'm in the box and I'm, I'm ready to hit. It, there's yeah, there's no glove. there's no glove there's no color of glove or pattern of glove that's going to distract me. Yeah. So I don't understand what the deal is. I I don't I don't get I don't get that. 
<laughs> it makes no yeah, sense to me. I don't, I don't I don't get it either. I mean, they're not hiding the ball <laughs> in the glove, you know, like by the time that glove comes down, that ball's already I mean, they're, they're already coming around the other end of it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, the, it's the, gone. They're already throwing like it's out of the way, it's out of sight. Yeah. You know, like you, you, you it's not a distraction. It is. Right? Well, it, at I least I don't. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know what Matt like, is thinking. I don't think he knows what he's thinking, to be honest to you. Well, I, I it's just how is it? I know they're saying like it's well, with, with with what Louis uh, Severino. The Severino. Other day, he had the great glove, and they were out of town, so it kind of matched his... in with his uniform, right? Uh-huh. But. Said he's dark. I don't know if you said check that last time. He's a dark <laughs> dude. Like you can see You can see where his hand is gloved. Yeah. Uniform, it's not it's... his gray glove. <laughs> the, the, the dark blue. It's not gonna do much. It's not his chest. So I don't know. There's, yeah. there's no hiding that. You know what I'm saying? Like it, that, it stands out that's, regardless. That's what I I I are you serious? That's that is and I don't know who initiates it if it's in the in the major well, league baseball offices, right? like, it's yeah, completely subjective. Because I mean, like, again, going back to, to Sean, I mean, he he had that green glove for so long mm-hmm. when he pitched with the A's. Did he pitch a no hitter with that glove? He pitched with the Padres with that glove. You know, he That's his true. first his first game with the Padres. He uh, his first starting game with the Padres. I think it was the same day he was traded or something. Yeah, and. Uh, and he and he had that green glove, and they let him pitch with it, you know. They let him pitch with it, and it's like, like it, it just depends on who's who's gonna officiate. But it's it's subjective, right? Right. It's uh, you know, one umpire may say it's cool, and the other one, they're like, nah, man. I, I maybe maybe it's hard for the umpires to pick up on stuff. I I, I don't I don't get it. I, yeah. I don't know what I, they're they're just looking at what's in front of them. Right, but I guess I so, guess if that would explain the uh, outrageous calls that some of these umpires have been making. You know that they're they're not focused on what's in front of them. Like you know, at the plate right there, they're looking around at the pitcher at his delivery mm-hmm. uh, as, as if they're the pitching coach or something. I'm, yeah. I'm not sure. Some, but, but um, go ahead. Yeah, some of these calls have been crazy. Like it's almost in the dirt, and they're gonna call it uh, strike. You know. Yeah. And uh, but I mean, I think you and I we, we talked offline about this. It's just that it's there's been a lot of talk about removing umpires from the game of baseball and right. replacing them with electronic umpires. You know, whether that's a, I don't know how that would work on a, out in the infield uh, because there's mm-hmm. been there's been times where the those balls are hit so hard the umpires are jumping out of the way so they don't get hit by the ball right I don't, I don't see any kind of robot jumping out of the way like that yeah. I well, mean, I know like we like I we talked about do some crazy things but uh, or but uh, yeah like we I talked about that. like you mentioned we talked about offline what what are basically our gist of it what my brother and I came to was that perhaps this is a way for Major League Baseball to allow the umpires to be so horrible that then when they introduce the idea again of electronic umpires that the fans will be so disgusted with blown calls and maybe players too that they'll be like yes yeah, bring in the computer uh, this guy would this guy's got 2020 vision but can't see a ball from a strike so screw that let's get the electronic umpires in here that that's just what you and I have discussed previously and I mean, you know, comment what y'all what y'all think, um, but I mean, it kind of makes sense to to what uh, that was one of their things that they talked about with instant replay, because it you know human error, human error can can happen. So if we have instant replay, then we can see that if the call was right or not. And yeah, and I, I like that they brought that in. I do like that for I do like that. But there are certain calls that it's like, oh man, like I wish that that could be replayed. You know that mm-hmm. D- the Detroit Tigers pitcher, a couple, quite a few years back, the 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 man called him him safe, and in his head he's like, I knew he was out. I don't know why. I I said safe. I, I have no clue. 
like my hand was ready to, to punch him out and and I and I went like this uh, um, mm-hmm. so Motion the opposite <laughs> so I, I is it because it was a crucial moment and you were the last out the, that was the last out of the game 27 up 20, it was the I think someone out. should, should uh, you know monetize on that capitalize on that you know that you show the umpire doing that and then it's just want to get away <laughs> yeah. that's a that's a great moment Jeez. that's a great moment right there <laughs> I mean the poor guy because he was a, a he is a he was an excellent umpire and but that's what everybody remembers I mean the poor guy uh, yeah oh well, now he's working at Costco you know it's uh, they let him go yeah I'm just kidding I have no idea I don't know he retired <laughs> no idea he retired. I, I don't think they let him go. I think he retired. But I mean, yeah. that's his. You know, unfortunately, that is all that people remember. And you know, it's been it's been highly document documented. Um, they've done specials on it. You know, what was really cool is the next day, they he, he the the pitcher is giving the the scorecard, and he. You know the man is in tears. I mean, he felt so bad because he took he took that um, he took that perfect game that moment from um, from that uh, from that pitcher. I mean, yes, it doesn't go down in the history, but everybody that was there, everybody that saw it, I mean, that was a perfect game. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. But that's crazy. Like, like, how soon do you think that that is gonna be a topic? Like, well, remember back in twenty twenty two. Yeah, I don't know. I, I can I can still see that being another. Uh, I mean, if we're if they if they really want to push it, I mean, I could see it happening within you know three to five years, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, but just like with with some other big changes right like you know with with the pitchers and the clock they have to get in their set and everything within like what is it 20 seconds or something like that yeah i, th- I think you're right you know that that was all that was an idea trying to speed up the game a little bit to keep the interest of the fans but that was all implemented at the at the farm level you know mm-hmm. and it was it was piloted there and and, and so I think I think if we if we see that we're not going to see it in, in the season until it's been piloted through the farm system first. And, and, and I'm okay at the, at the professional level yet. And I'm okay with with them testing it out at those levels before we're going to see if it works. Does it work here? And yeah. you know them, but I could I would I would hate for them to just implement it automatically into the show. Yeah. I, I I don't think that would be. So I had to look it up. I couldn't remember the pitcher's uh, first name. It was Armando Galarraga, and oh, yeah. and the okay. umpire was Jim Joyce. It was back in two thousand and ten. So if you wow. want to check that out, anybody, go ahead and check that out. It was it was a pretty good game, um, and you know I don't know how much longer Colorado was in the league, but it wasn't very it wasn't in the league very very long. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so that that was just the the thing I was thinking of with the umpires. I know we spoke briefly on it um, a few days ago when we were on the phone but um, I think that that is definitely I don't know to me I don't know if it's my conspiracy portion of my brain that it's like this is exactly what they're going to try to do <laughs> or what but um, yeah I mean it's, it's possible I don't, I don't know I think I think that there'd be a lot of pushback just from the players themselves. Yeah. Um, because <laughs> uh, joking and not joking, <laughs> you know, uh, the, the Astros here—that's just another technology thing for them to manipulate to help them win another World Series, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, and, and that's it too. It's like, is I mean, we can. The, the iPad is a is a fantastic piece of machinery. There's so many things you can do on it, but it doesn't work perfectly all the time. Yeah, the, and the, so you're gonna need to have, the, even though there's the human error, you're still gonna need a human there to mm-hmm. to make the calls. Because with the um, the calls that they do with the instant replay now, 
yeah. there's a human that still has to be on the phone to to see what the people monitoring yeah. the video surveillance back in the offices what yeah, what yeah. is to the going to be the official call so exactly so, so yeah, I mean, there's, it's only it can only go for so long and then on top of it too like uh people it's it's gonna have some a lot of warming up to do because especially on you know game seven or world series oh, i, I mean it, you might it might be pretty accurate as far as <clears throat> The, the zone for the batter zone and whatnot yeah uh, might be pretty accurate there but anywhere else I would, I'd be skeptical of, of having anywhere else but even then too is I I like that we have that imperfect strike zone uh, there's yeah. times where it's it helps out my team and there's other times where uh, you know I want to go through that TV and shake that on fire <laughs> right? by, by the pads that they have you know yeah but, I, um, I do like but it's it's nice, you know. It, it goes both ways, and that's that's another part interesting part about the game of baseball, you know, mm-hmm. is you, you you get those breaks at times. It's like, oh man, we needed that, or or then, then again, it's it's the opposite way. True. You know, it's strike three, and you got runners left on base, and you know another inning gone, and you got to do it again. Well, there's there's all, it's just ever since I've been watching baseball since the, my first. Thing I can remember was the the late '80s, and I don't know exactly the year, but I just remember and people on the television. Someone had mentioned, "Well, this umpire has a really small strike zone." And then I I remember years later in, uh, in the, the mid to late '90s, there was that um, there was an umpire that had a, a pretty large strike zone, and certain yeah. pitchers, certain Hall of Fame pitchers, and certain pitchers that were. That were nearly Hall of Famers were were appreciative of certain um, certain umpires because of they yeah. knew that there was going to be a little bit of leeway and yeah and, I, and that goes to speak too of the of the pitcher as well right mm-hmm. I mean what I, you know, it makes me think of you know uh, Michael Jordan for instance there's a, there was a game. That Michael contested a call oh, yeah. to the ref, and the ref was like, "I'm sorry, Michael, I didn't see it. Was it? Was that what you saw? You know, is that what you saw? You're right. Okay, I'm sorry. And then he, he reversed the call, you know, whatever it was. Yeah. Know, he, he apologized to Michael, and then, you know, in baseball you see that too. Is you get a veteran pitcher up there, um, and it's they just gotta throw just just a few strikes, and the umpire will, you know, that that zone will widen. Mm-hmm. For, for the pitcher, right? Yeah. It just, it just, you know, I, I mean, it's. Imagine, imagine you're calling a game for for Doc Gooden, you know? Yeah. Like, my goodness, like, yeah, man, he's you, you just, you just throw it in my direction. I got you on the strike, right? right? Like, <laughs> like, just, just sign the kids for my ball. You know, sign the ball for yeah, my sign, kid and whatnot. Yeah, at the end of the game, sign the ball. Good. <laughs> right? I mean, I, I don't know, I, I you. These guys, they're umpires because they're, they're fans of the game to an extent, right? Right. You, you, know, you, you, gotta you can't tell me so they, they're not fans. Any any umpire that says they're not a fan, it's just a job. Yeah. That's bull. Yeah, that like is bull. No, There's like, no you, way. You gotta, you gotta love the game. So. Yeah. Somewhere, so, somewhere there was an yeah. affinity for the game. Because if not, why in the world would you want to be surrounded by exactly, it? Exactly. Right. So that um, that but, to me uh, is only a statement to say that I. I call them like I see them because I'm not a fan. Like, that's bull. That's bull. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, unless, I don't know. I don't, there's not a, a family line of umpires, is there? I mean, yeah. you might you might get a, a house vibrant. Oh, my gosh. You know, Seriously. Not baseball guys, but, uh, yeah, it's what, it's what we do, I guess. You know, daddy left me this business. Yeah. Uh, well, no, he, he argued about it because <laughs> his sister was going to get the business, her and her husband, and. It's still a sore spot for me. It is. Uh, that that uh, sound bite it's but, like nails on the chalkboard for some people. That doesn't yeah. That doesn't ring well with me. And it, it it might not be okay, you get it. You know, it, but it it could it it's just because of the way that when Steinbrenner purchased the team in the late seventies, uh, mid seventies, seventy five, seventy six, he set a precedent. And that's why he was the boss because he set a precedent where if, if you don't win a championship that year, that was a loss. It, and so for him being a Steinbrenner 
and him to say, I'm not much of a baseball guy. If, I think <laughs> I might have turned over in his grave. I, I might have, I might have, uh, I might have slapped him. Like, whoa, wake up! You're in New York, dude. Like, you're you're yeah. the Yankees part owner yeah. right now. Like, if do you realize what your dad? If that's your mindset, go to Queens, but we don't need you here. <laughs> yeah, like, dude. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You should just, be in charge of Monument train. Park and yeah. forget being in charge of baseball in in, in uh, for the Yankees. Like, oh, wow. Yeah. Any 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 number of Yankee fans would gladly switch places with him. Oh yeah, and, you know, like that's yeah. Put, that's just uh, that's so annoying. Put that's Billy so annoying. put Billy Crystal in there because <laughs> yeah, he was a fan and he has been a player. He had what a two day contract. Still, it's more games than I played for the Yankees. Right? Yeah, I dude, just to <laughs> just to be in a spring training warm up, warm up in Florida with those guys, I would. That's a cool. So I'm done now, Lord. You gonna take me now? Cool. <laughs> Make sure my kids are good, my wife is good. I'm I'm good. I'm good. Um, yeah. yeah. So I, I know it's late for you, bro. Uh, so I'll just wrap up. I appreciate you coming on. Um, and uh, sharing with me, you know, we can go for hours, but uh, we'll yeah, have to, sure. we'll definitely have to do it again sooner than later. And um, uh, like I said before, shout out to Joel and Ro with Leo Core Gaming. If you're not already following them, make sure you subscribe, like, and follow them. And uh, go ahead and hit that follow button for James the Fanatic as well. Um, appreciate you coming on, brother. Much love. Um, thank you guys for watching. Share with your family and friends. And uh, you guys uh, take care. Have a great day. Love and aloha. Stay classy. Stay classy. <laughs> <laughs>